Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're continuing work on our LS build and we're gonna do something that honestly I was kind of afraid of before we started doing this and that's press fitting rods to pistons. So instead of using floating piston pins, these rods are just like the, these pistons are just like the factories. So they use a press fit piston pin. So in order to do that, we have to heat them up in an induction heater and press them here in our jig. We're gonna get these done and show you how to do it for your project. Okay, so we've got our rod. All right, and we're gonna figure out which, this is number four, sorry. Yes, this is number four. Uh, on that one, this is the front side. On a stock LS crank, there's no chamfer, there's no fillet on the crank. It's flat, so the uh, fillets on the inside of the rod don't matter. But we're going to keep it oriented the way it was from the from the factory, anyways. Which this is the front side on this particular one. We've got our induction heater. We're just going to drop this in here. This is going to we're going to run this for about. It'll take about five minutes to get this heated up to 500 degrees, which is where we're running it. While we're doing that, we're gonna take our piston out. I'm gonna show you real quick why you have to heat it. So this is an interference fit. And what that means is that you cannot push this on here. Now you could use a press and press this on here, but you would damage your piston doing that. So we heat this up, this end gets a little bit bigger and allows this to slide right in. And within seconds, this cools down, locking it permanently onto the pin until you press it off. Our induction furnace has the ability to do two rods at a time, but we're only doing one. So we're gonna take our piston with our mark, <clears throat> our indentation for the front. We're gonna lock it in here. This is a strong hands fabrication table that uses these really slick little tools. You can drop this in and make all kinds of cool fixtures. This is the first time we've had a chance to use it for actually a fixture table and we're using it for pistons, which is kind of neat. So what we're going to do here is just pick that up, drop it in. Now our pin will slide in and it hits this stop so it cannot go further than that. That's one of the tricks. Uh, that's one of the difficulties when you're setting pistons on rods that are interference, press fit because if you get this to where this is hanging out here, this is gonna score the cylinder wall. It's gotta be all the way in. If you don't get the rod hot enough, which we had this happen earlier, we had a rod, we, we got it up to about 370 degrees and we tried it and we only got about halfway uh, before the rod cooled and locked so we had to press it back off. So that's why we're taking them up to about 500 degrees. Between 400 and 800 degrees is the target. All right, so now we're gonna check it using our gun. About 500, perfect. Now we just take it, drop it in, line it up, and push it in. And you've got just a few seconds before this starts grabbing right there. That's where it grabbed. So that was what, maybe 10 seconds? And that's all there is to it.